the humble poacher now this role can be one of the best roles in the game if you use it correctly i love the role when it's surrounded by other strikers as well then you've got one role that sits on defenders and gives them a perennial headache gloucester city do this with their tactical system and on today's show i will share with you how the system has evolved with the playthrough when i took over the club this season our overall balance was very low about you know not more than 20k it soon grew on the back of some decent fa cup runs now um here you can see how we managed to draw against Chesham. we got through the next round in the fa cup fourth qualifying round we beat yeovil but this was the match the match i will never forget some of these goals were comical some of these goals they were great at the end of the day i am excited with how this team is playing with the system it just it gives me a bit more confidence knowing that maybe we might have a shot at getting out of this league we are playing the van rama national north 22 of these clubs are semi-professional. The only two professional clubs here are Kings Lynn and Scunthorpe. Right now, we have been playing quite well. Uh, Sion Spence is doing brilliantly as a shadow striker in our system. He's already scored 12 goals. Tactically, he's formed a partnership with McHale as a complete forward. Yes, you can play complete forwards if their you know, attributes are fantastic. I'm just going for the movement of the player. But the challenge now is our next match. We are playing Scunthorpe. National League Lords only other professional club and this will be a test of our credentials can we beat the iron another thing i've noticed very quickly we've gotten re-rated how do i know previously against teams like scantop we would be expecting a loss now the fans think it's going to be a draw i have a funny sneaky feeling that the opposition teams are going to start taking us a bit more seriously it's a bit early but i wouldn't be surprised because we've already played 17 games, I'm going to start this match on balance mentality, probably remove the counter press, and then we shall take the game and see how this match transpires. So they are playing with two inside forwards. We are definitely going to check whether the trap instructions are on because the trap instructions are going to fail with uh, players running inside. We've got uh, Louis McGregory, Kian Tansley, Elliot, Darrell, Harry Hammett, Emmett and Liam Armstrong on the bench. Uh, what a waste, right? We have to have a keeper now on the bench just in case our keeper gets injured. Well, everybody seems to be happy. That's nice to know. Okay, Scantop versus Gloucester City. This is going to be a tough match. And uh, I feel like pumping the fist, um, telling them the fans are out there, this is the first time I'm doing this. I have faith in you. Midfielders, I have faith in you. Attackers, I have faith in you. We have a small group of traveling fans in the away stand the players head out yes i've had to change the color of my jerseys because there was a lot of dark and dark clash kits and we're off kill takes the throw yes uh, this is how i play the game normally so i'll dial down the speed hangs plays out the record evans gets inside the area shoots oh that could have been a great goal that could have been a great goal we'll encourage the boys now we're gonna have to defend this Whitehall corner and yes the collective jumping reach of my team you've heard the story before many many times Scantop have taken the lead uh, we could not defend the corner the fans look a bit agitated in the stands yes yes they're all burying their heads in their hands well okay um let's see how we do Chapman with the kick that's not too good kill um Hamilton goes back. He's playing. Uh, he had a long injury spell. He's back now. Chamberlain plays it out the record. Uh, Owen Evans, or I don't know. I don't know what Evans is. He's got O. <laughs> Hooper. Nice pass to Spence. Spence scores again. The oh, league's leading goal scorer finds the back of the net with a volley. Oh, yes. This is making me happy. Oh, beautiful football here. Yeah, Hooper, I love poachers, man. Poachers are superb roles. They are no nonsense. Let's play simple. Even though this player, he doesn't like the position because it, uh, he, he thinks that he's got more flair. He wants a role with more flair, apparently. Oh, Spence has gone down. Oh, that was... His penalties are really soft. I mean, maybe it's the modern age where players just go down. You know, a small touch. 
There's no hand holding, no touching, unnecessary touching in the penalty area. Well, we've taken the lead. It's two ones. Can't talk with the early lead, but we've got a brace. Okay, we've got a throw. This is Hill. Finds McHale. Yes, it's a simple corner throw-in routine. Evans is free. Evans is in. Evans scores. Ay, 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 ay. Gloucester City are all over Scandalk. The thing is this, right? Um, this is, there are two kinds of throw-ins. There's one that is the long throw and there's one that is uh, work the line. I think that's what it's called. I was using the long throw for the early part of the season and um, I don't have anybody who has long throw attributes. So we quickly changed to this in the last few matches. I use this to gauge how well I'm doing. Now, most of my players are all right. They've got a few players. We're not far off matching them. Now, this is a professional club. So their trainings uh, at least like seven times a week, right? Or at least six times a week. So, okay. We will get more tired than this team, and but we've already scored the goals. And after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with pass into space. So we'll just keep this intensity going. Nice header down. McHale picks up the ball, looks backwards. The Woodman hangs, finds Evans again. Evans, well, he's going to go. Oh, nice turn from Evans. It's another goal. It's Joe Hanks. It is 4-1. The boys are apt. Absolutely loving it out there. The away, the home fans can't believe that. Home fans are applauding. This is good news. We've got friends in Skantop. Woodman, he's on loan. He we signed him because we needed somebody with at least uh, ten jumping reach. Uh, Rackford is record is nine. Uh, he's eleven because he just came off an injury spell. So at least we've got another player who's got uh, more than ten. Hill finds Spence. Spence goes back to. Kasim, Kasim switches play to the other side. Evans has now got a run of the pitch. He, oh, that was a decent attempt at putting the ball in the area. Chapman looks to restart the game really quickly. Woodman tight on the defender. Uh, player, Hill. Hill's playing in place of Oliver Hinder. Hinder's co uh, manager sat over at Sutton wanted him to play. Spence cuts inside. He's going to set up Hooper. That is why the poacher is such a good role. The poachers literally sits on defenders and all you got to do is find him with a pass. Right, right. Kelly did terribly, you know, at the back. The defensive errors from... I, the, this is a good thing about playing lower, against lower league teams. Right, it's just... You find errors. We've committed plenty of errors early on in the season and I'm expecting to see a few more in this game too. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. That was one where the player overcommitted too early. Evans does well. Mikhail can't jump because he can't. Yeah, none of my players. Oh, there we go. Calamity is struck at the back. His nickname actually is Calamity, right? I'm going to, we, we're going to do that now. Let's just stop for a moment. Okay, let's go to our goalkeeper. Okay, let's rename him Calamity Hurricane. Yes, we're now calling him Calamity Hurricane. He's, he's, yeah, hey, look, these are our keepers at the moment, okay? Yeah, Calamity Hurricane. Um, we've got to ignore this. Roberts with a corner again. Uh, they go to the far post. The Calamity went out. <laughs> I told you he's going to do this. He went out. He didn't have to go. I mean, like, he went to claim the cross. <laughs> he's six points. Okay, at least the other keeper is doing far worse. Um, Gregory, they're all having a good game in the center. They're not too tired. Joe Hanks will take him off with about 10 minutes to go. Because I need Joe Hanks playing. Uh, Cross, Roberts does... Oh, Roberts got the ball. He smash, smashed the crossbar. And McHale is trying his best to keep up with that player. Hamilton at the far post. He's got 11 jumping reach. So finally, we have a player there that can deal with the, uh, white, di the white cross. Emmett, Joe Hanks again, okay. yeah. He's got options. He's found Kasim. Kasim shoots. Kian is not bad. Yeah, just uh, we definitely do want to not have a heart attack because I've had a few heart attacks this season so far. I mean, like uh, I'll be leading by five two, and then the final score is five four. Quite common with us. I'll be leading three zero. Final score three two. This is what I mean. 
right? Our training sessions are definitely on point because my players are finishing the game as good or even in some cases slightly better than the opposition. Yes, this is a great day for Gloucester City. We'll celebrate by giving the players a rest day. Yes, this is absolutely brilliant. Yes, Penny more top of the table and Gloucester City chasing after them a point away. Everybody will give all of them a rest. Everyone. We are celebrating. It's McGregor thrilled with the comeback win. I'm thrilled with the comeback win. And uh, it's been a great, great performance. Let's take a look at the uh, passing network for this um, system that we're using because I won't going to explain something about passing networks. Now, the thing about pass networks is it shows you the intensity or rather where the emphasis is. Like you can see, we've got really good passing networks. This tells me that in terms of build-up play, the guy in the center, Yasser Kasim, is really important. And they can link up with him, all the defenders. Uh, the passing networks are brilliant, right? So we've got the important player here is this, Yasser Kasim. And you can see that the white center backs, or rather, yeah, the white center backs are playing out passes. And we're feeding the wing backs in our system very effectively. And these are my two free aids. Of course, this is not really a free aid anymore. This is Sean Spence playing as a shadow striker. You can see how he drops into this position. It's like a, it's like an X, four, three, one, two. And out of that game, the partnership between these three is absolutely astounding. The January transfer window is coming. I might be getting some interest in my players. And when that happens, the question mark is going to be this. Can I hang on to Sion Spence? Can I hang on to Hooper? Both of them, between them, have backed something like 27 goals already. And uh, we are playing pretty well. But I still want to get to professional status as quickly as I possibly can. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a short little playthrough with Gloucester City. You can see how the tactical system is coming along. Training-wise, it's been really simple. The players are fitter. They are managing to finish their games. That early preseason that you do is so important. You got to push them in preseason. We push them in preseason, and we've used a training system that is relatively straightforward. Anyone can do it with a semi-professional club. I hope you found today's show useful. Meanwhile, I'm streaming six times a week over on Twitch. If you have more questions, you can always find me there. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Okay, quick update before I go. We have been on a streak so far. Uh, we just got knocked out of the FA Cup by uh, 7H. They played really well and they're a good club. But this was the match. This was... Had me off my chair, man. <laughs> Um, essentially the scoreline was 2-2. It was a tough mess against Chester. I was really thinking that we were going to lose this game. And then right at the death, someone comes up with a killer pass. So here we've got our load siding, which is now the reason why I'm getting really uptight with their, their manager at Sutton because he wants Hinda to be a wing back, a full back. But Hinda playing it as a defensive winger goes up. Puts one into the area for Hooper, our poacher, and our poacher gets us the winner in the 87 minute. This is keeping us at the top of the Van Rama National North. Sion Spence is down 16 goals. I mean, quite a few of them have come from penalties, but we are driving. We are in the driver's seat right now. For this, uh, we've got quite a few more matches left. Um, we're still in the FA Trophy third round. Financially, not too bad. 212000 right now. The money is going up. The fans are showing up in the uh, stadiums. The gate receipts are up. It's 57000 in gate receipts as well. So the fans are coming. They believe. We believe. And the board believes. We'll be back. <laughs>